Welcome to the Step Point of View Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about activated carriers, universal electron acceptors, and hexokinase versus glucokinase. An activated carrier is a small molecule that carries a high energy linkage that can donate energy or a chemical group. The activated carriers are ATP, which carries energy in the form of phosphoryl groups, NADH, NADPH, and FADH2, which all carry electrons, coenzyme A, and lipoamide, which carry acyl groups, biotin, which carries carbon dioxide, tetrahydrofolates, which carry one carbon units, s adenosyl methionine, also called SAM, which carries methyl groups, and TPP, or thiamine pyrophosphate, which carries aldehydes. The universal electron acceptors are nicotinamides, which come in the form NAD+, or NADP+, and they're synthesized from niacin or vitamin B3, as well as flavin nucleotide from riboflavin or vitamin B2. NAD+, and NADPH are different in that NAD+, is normally used in catabolism to capture energy in the reduced form NADH whereas NADPH is used to build molecules in anabolic processes. It supplies the electrons for processes such as steroid and fatty acid synthesis. NADPH is produced in the HMP shunt and is used in respiratory burst, which is when cells rapidly release a bunch of oxidative species as a defense mechanism against infection, NADPH being the primary substrate, the cytochrome P450 system, which is used to detoxify cells from drugs, and glutathione reductase, which is involved in creating glutathione, which manages cellular oxidative stress. Hexokinase and glucokinase catalyze the same reaction, but not in the same location in the body, and have different enzyme kinetics. They both phosphorylate glucose to produce glucose 6-phosphate. Glucokinase is used specifically by the liver and the beta cells of pancreas. It has a larger KM, which gives it a lower affinity for glucose, and a higher Vmax. This means that it acts only after large increases in blood glucose, like after a meal. It is induced by insulin, a common hormone after a meal, and inhibited by fructose 6-phosphate. Hexokinase, on the other hand, is used in all other cells. Hexokinase has a lower KM, giving it a higher affinity and a lower Vmax. This is so the cells can process glucose no matter what the blood concentrations are. It is not induced by insulin, and the immediate product, glucose 6-phosphate, is a negative feedback inhibitor. That's all for this lesson of step one of you. We'll see you in the next video.